Less than two weeks after I made a video about how I don't like most modern game trailers, Nintendo drops one of the coolest trailers in recent memory. Basically, I'm a clown, I am a loser, cue the this aged like milk comments, you are all so original, I will see myself out. Except, wait a minute, this trailer hits on almost every single point I made. I think, if anything, it proved my points even further. Watch the last video I made if you want context for what I'm talking about. Like I told you guys, Nintendo makes fucking garbage trailers or they make works of art. There is no in-between, and this trailer is on the fucking masterpiece side without a doubt. It starts off very similar to the 2017 Breath of the Wild trailer by mimicking the opening. They show off the scenery accompanied by subdued music and wind this time instead of waves. This mimicry is intentional, and I'll get to why in a second. Link is revealed way faster this time after around 28 seconds instead of 55 like in the Breath of the Wild trailer. This this fits because it's not Link returning after a long period of time like in Breath of the Wild, it's the same Link coming back to the same world to save it again. And if you thought that was clever, this is where they start doing actual genius shit. Listen to the music that plays right after Link is revealed. It's the fucking Breath of the Wild theme! This is Nintendo's way of saying, Hey stupid, it's a sequel! It's connected to Breath of the Wild, just, just so you know. In the subtlest way possible. The entire first part of this trailer is dedicated to showing off things that were in Breath of the Wild and what they're like now. It shows how Hyrule has changed, how it's different. What's that shadow? What's that rock formation? How are the towers different? Cloud tornado? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a giant whale in there somewhere, but I could be wrong. This is most apparent when we are literally shown the familiar Gerudo Desert and Hyrule Castle distorting and turning into something else. I mean, this is literally the perfect way to address any concerns players might have over reusing the same map. Part two then makes a shift to show a specific new content. If at this point there was a single fiber of your being that was concerned about Tears of the Kingdom being too similar to Breath of the Wild, this is where Nintendo annihilates those concerns. Boom! Proper dungeons, magic shit, flying boats, your mom, they redid the horse combat, Link has a goddamn flight suit! Holy shit, that looks so much fun! Also, the music here kind of reminds me of Midna's Lament from Twilight Princess, let me know if I'm imagining it. At this point, there is a quick story cutscene to give us a breather before part three where we get to see some actual gameplay footage. It is just non-stop cool shit that I would have never imagined I'd seen a Zelda game one day, and they remixed another classic Zelda song for this part. Holy shit! Show me the fucker who made this trailer. I got a couple of things I'd like to do in between their legs if you know what I'm saying. The last section is basically dedicated to showing off the story only, which didn't feel quite as impactful as the 2017 trailer where they showed off every aspect of the game working together in unison, but I mean, come on, how can you not be excited for this? This was paced almost perfectly, there were a bunch of cool music edits, music syncs, and music mixes, it explained the story and gameplay well, it didn't overuse narrators, and the voice acting was fine. Wow, Nintendo, that's almost exactly what I've been saying makes a good trailer. So I listed a bunch of points that I think make good trailers, then Nintendo makes a trailer that meets those points, and the trailer was good! What the fuck are you guys talking about? The new trailer packed me up, the new trailer proved my point even more! Ah, <sighs> fucking YouTube comments, man, wait, what is that? No. No. No, no!